Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing this look for you. It is, it's crazy. Okay, we already knew that. From the thumbnail, we knew that. Um, I went into my carnival palette again. So, so far I've done, you know, the blue purple moment. And then I did like the neutrals. So today I went into the more orange pinky colors as well as a little bit of like the dark purples to create this look for you. I love it so much. I kind of wanted this to lean like pinky purple, orange, yellow. Um, so kind of all of that, but like not too orangey yellow because I did that like really bright orange yellow look the other day. Sorry if you can hear Lily crying. <laughs> it is that time of night when she screams and gets in a bad mood. Um, so yeah, I wanted to focus more in on like the, the pinky purpley side, but still have a little yellowy orange to it. Um, I used uh, quite heavily the shade Foolish, which I was really excited to use. It's like a beautiful neon coral kind of color. And I incorporated a lot of that into the eye look. And then I wanted to pair with a really dark lip. I think I saw something recently on Instagram or a couple of posts recently on Instagram where people doing like these, you know, sunset type eyes with a really deep lip. And since it is now pretty much fall where I live, it's, it's cold every morning. It's in like, the low 40s at this point. Um, so it's getting pretty cold where I am at least, and I'm just ready for dark lips. The tutorial part of the eyes is gonna be a voiceover. Again, when I do these like really insane kind of looks like this, I feel like a voiceover is just easier because I can really explain what I'm doing while I'm doing it to save some time. Because if I explain what I'm doing, um, you know, in the moment, as opposed to while I'm doing it in like the edited video version, it just takes like twice as long for the same thing. So that's why I'm just doing the voiceover, but then I'll talk during the face part and everything like I usually do. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let's stop talking and just get right into this tutorial. To start off this look, I am priming as usual. And for that, I'm using my Juvia's Place Concealer and this Peaches and Cream PC40 brush, which is got to be like my new favorite brush for carving out brows, doing a cut crease, any of that. This brush is really, really great. So I'm just gonna apply that all over my lid as well as carve out under my brow. I'm then gonna go in with the e.l.f. tape um, that I showed you guys, I think like two or three videos back. Really love this stuff. So I'm just applying that. And now I'm gonna go into my first shade, which is called Reckless. And it's the really deep purple burgundy kind of color from this palette. And using a Morphe M507, I'm gonna start packing this in the outer corner and then all the way across the crease. And I did put one entire piece of tape. I know in that last video I used these with, I only did like half on each side. I did a whole tape this time because the eyeshadow is gonna be really pulled out. So now I'm gonna go into the shade Lights Out, which is a black shade. And that is gonna go in the crease with the same brush, just a little bit more kind of um, like right in the crease, whereas the purple was kind of coming up a little bit. I'm just using this obviously to deepen up this purple a little bit. Then we're going into those two kind of red burgundy shades. They're both sort of like raspberry type shades. One just has a little more red and one just has a little more pink. I just decided to mix them together and I used that to blend around the edges of the purple. And then I went into Pep Talk, which is a super neon pink. And I'm using a larger brush. I believe this is a M518, I believe, or a 441 and also for Morphe. Blend that around the edge of the other pink. And then I'm taking Foolish, which is the neon coral. This is one of my favorite shades from this palette. And using that in the same fluffy brush to blend that around the edges of the pink. There's a lot of blending going on in this look. As you can see, a lot of shades as well. I'm now going into Lit, which is the neon orange, and basically placing that between the pink and that coral shade we just put down. And then I'm going to also take the yellow shade in the corner named Keen, and that is gonna go all the way around the edges of everything. And I am taking this shade really lightly. And then after this, I didn't show it, but I did go back in with those colors one more time and just layered them up one more time. Each of the colors I just used in the same exact order just to make sure my intensity was there. Generally, if you guys watch me long enough, I like to go darkest to lightest 
especially when I'm doing these really bright looks. And then I go lightest to darkest one more time, just to make sure that all those shades are really built up really nicely and blend in really well. So I'm taking the Juvia's Place Concealer again, and I'm cutting my crease. I am going all the way to the outer part of my eye, which I usually don't do. And then basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill in the lid, but I'm not gonna fill in all the way to the outer corner. We're gonna keep those deep shades as true and deep as they are in the outer corner now and leave that little space to where there's just sort of like a little tail. And then I'm gonna go in with a MAC 242 and pretty much all the same shades we used in the crease. So I'm starting off with Foolish and that is gonna be packed on the inner corner of my lid. And then I'm packing that all the way across the top line, all the way to the outer corner. And that is gonna be the shade um, that you see in that little sort of tail that goes out to the outer corner. And then this shade is so pigmented. I probably layered it up maybe like two or three times. You didn't necessarily need to, I just wanted it to really pop. And then going back in with Pep Talk, the hot pink, that is going right next to the shade Foolish. I'm then gonna go in with one of those deep raspberry shades we used, and that's gonna go next to the hot pink. And then after that, we're gonna go back in with the Deep Purple Reckless, and I'm just using a um, the M507 again, the Buffy brush, to buff and blend that into that pink color. And then finally taking a really tiny pencil brush, I'm gonna take the Lights Out, the black shade, and reapply that right in the corner as well. Again, just to bring that depth back. I'm now gonna take a little bit of my concealer just to kind of brighten up and conceal my inner corner before I go in with my inner corner shade. This is another Peaches pigment. I will have the name up here on the screen. Can't recall it right now off the top of my head, but it's sort of a matte based, um, kind of like neon yellow, light yellow color, and it's got a little bit of shimmer running through it, but um, you don't see it like too much, but you see it a little bit. I'm then gonna take the Peaches and Cream Glitter Adhesive and just apply that right along the edge of the cut crease. And then I'm using the Peaches Pigment in the shade She's All That. I haven't used it yet until this makeup look. I really wanted to use it and it was gonna be perfect. It's a pinky coral base with a golden shine. So it went perfect with this look. And I'm basically just applying that right on the inner half of this cut crease to bring some life and dimension and sort of pop to the inner part of that cut crease. I'm then going back in with the Reckless shade with my tiny little um, pencil brush just to redefine the crease, just in case my cut crease covered up too much of the darkness. And then I'm taking that Yellow Peaches pigment one more time just to highlight under my brow bone. So now I'm gonna go in with some eyeliner. This is the Morphe liner in the shade Jet. I've had this pot for probably a year now, so it is drying out, which is why it wasn't going on super awesome. I need to actually chuck this and just get a new one. But I'm just applying that with a little tiny, very thin um, liner brush. And then I'm gonna go back into the shade Reckless again and use this fluffy brush again to just kind of buff that uh, the corner of the liner. You guys know I like to do this a lot. It just sort of marries the liner into the eyeshadow look. Now I'm removing my tape, which was very exciting, obviously. And then I'm taking that Morphe gel liner again, and I'm gonna run that all the way in the waterline, all the way across the eye, and then bring it down a little bit under the lash line as well. I'm then going to buff that out with my tiny little pencil brush. And then we're going to start layering up our shades again. So I'm taking Reckless first with the fluffy blending brush and blending that underneath. I'm then gonna go into the Raspberry shade again, which I believe is called In Lust, and that's gonna go underneath that. We're now taking Foolish and blending that underneath and then um, just making sure that's super buffed out. And then I did again go back in with my darker shades and go back up. Like I said on the top, I go dark, to light, same on the bottom, and then light to dark and build them up again. So I went back in with my deep purple, and now I'm going back in with some black, just to make sure that's intensified, and then I layer just a little bit more of the foolish neon color right on the inner part. I'm then putting a little bit of our Peaches pigment, the yellow one we put in the inner corner, and just applying that so it flows really nicely to the inner corner. And then I'm taking the highlight in the shade Fair Play, and that is gonna be layered right on top to add a pop to our inner corner. All right guys, so eyes are done and I'm <laughs> so obsessed. Um, they're a lot and they're not perfectly even, which is bugging me, but I'm telling you guys, if you've ever done a tutorial before, it is so hard to get this, like your one eye to look at the other eye, if you do the whole other eye first. So let's move into the face 
to prep my face so far, uh, before I started my eyes, I just like drenched my face in the e.l.f. Dewy Setting Mist, the coconut one. And um, smells great, makes my skin feel very kind of moisturized. So now that that is on, I'm going to go into my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and apply a layer of this all over as my actual primer. What's that? Pretty. Pretties? Mm-hmm. Dip. It's not dip. Yeah, we can't dip into everything. She likes dip. And so everything she wants to like dip her fingers into. And she'll just go like dip, 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 dip. And I really like this primer because it definitely does make my skin feel more smooth, but it also feels so like hydrating and cooling. And my skin just feels like so nice and soft and moisturized and amazing um, after I use mm -hmm. it. So like I've said, you know, I think I said in my last video, um, or maybe the one before that, I don't know. This is the only primer I've ever liked, and I really like it. Like, it's changed my mind about primers, for sure. Now I'm gonna go into a foundation I've not tried yet. It's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Foundation Stick. Sketchy. I generally don't love stick foundations. I've only found like two I actually like. So I'm gonna use the shade Buff 30, which seemed in store a little more neutral than the other ones. I just hope it's not too pink because y'all know I've been doing like the neutral thing lately and wanting to go with a more neutral undertone but I don't want to go pink so this looks pretty neutral so far we'll see how it blends out and just like putting this on as I'm running it over like any blemishes I have I can already tell it's going to be very light coverage so that is why you can see I've put a lot of swipes all over. I generally put and put this money, but just like I said, swiping it over some of my spots, you can see that it's not covering them. So I need a little more to actually like cover. And I'm just blending this in with the same brush I use my primer, the Peaches PC26, which is a really, really good brush and super affordable. So this foundation is blending in pretty easily. It definitely looks very like dewy. Which, the thing for me with stick foundations is, I feel like if they're not more on the hydrating side, I don't like them because I feel like stick foundations make my skin look really textured really easily. And they cling to the texture that I just naturally have. So I always like, like all the hydrating, or sorry, all the stick foundations I like are hydrating, like the Makeup Forever one and the Fast Base Foundation Stick from Makeup Revolution. It is accentuating some texture, especially around my nose. It's like, all right, it's not my favorite. So I'm gonna use my Juvia's Place Concealer to conceal. Same one I used on my eyes. And I'm in the shade 20. And I'm highlighting as normal, but I'm also relying on this to actually give me some extra coverage since that stick didn't give me as much as I'd like. And I'm just gonna use the exact same brush to blend that in. Now, one thing I will say after blending in that foundation is my face feels really heavy and like greasy and that's disappointing especially for having like no coverage and that is exactly why i don't like light coverage foundations which i think i talked about recently in a video because i want at least medium coverage so if i use a lighter coverage foundation i feel like i end up using more of the foundation to get the coverage i want which in turn like it feels really heavy so that's why i just prefer to use uh, medium to full coverage foundations for the most part and then just use less if I want you know a more natural low coverage look but that way it doesn't feel as heavy as if I was to put like I said a light coverage foundation and just a lot of it you know what I'm saying bye what bye bye where are you going bye 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 why are you going bye 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 but I don't want you to go bye-bye. Oh, I feel cake right now. That stick foundation just keeps feeling heavier and heavier and worse and worse on my face. I, and it's made it so like my Juvia's Place Concealer, which I really like, is like just sitting on top of my skin and everything just feels like so heavy on me right now. To set my face, I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty uh, Pro Filter 
Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the shade Vanilla. Sorry, not Vanilla. Lost it, people. In the shade Butter. And I'm just using a little brush to apply this. I don't want to use a sponge because I already feel really heavy. And if I like pat this in with a sponge, I'm gonna feel even heavier. So if I'm gonna just use a brush to apply this. This is the JH07. For bronzer, I'm gonna use my Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer. I'm looking especially caked up with this foundation. And I'm looking especially white as well after my foundation, concealer, powder, everything. So I'm contouring and bronzing as I usually do, but I'm also doing kind of like I sometimes do where I pull the bronzer like onto the bulk of my face as well. So like I contour, but then once I'm done blending that, I'll kind of like blend across that whole cheek area just to pull the color down because I'm looking pale. Really quick, I'm just gonna touch up under my eyes. I mix the um, yellow with Foolish, the coral color. And I'm just blending that like right there on the bottom. And Shane's looking at me from outside the window and watching me talk to the camera. Go away! Bye! So for blush today, I'm gonna use one I haven't used in a while. This is MAC Warm Soul. See, I'm gonna use this blush with this e.l.f. What is this, highlighting brush for my last video. It's a really nice brush. And I'm gonna use that to apply this blush, so pretty. It's been so long since I've used this blush, it's so nice. All right, then for highlight, I'm gonna go into the Carnival palette again, and I'm gonna use the shade Fair Play only this time, not like last time, I'm not gonna mix it. I'm gonna quickly do my brows off camera, and then we're gonna come back to put on our lip and finally be done with this look. All right guys, so the look is now completed. Um, for my lip, I just went ahead and threw it on. This is the Sephora Cream Lip Shade in the shade, Shane, I was just talking to Shane, in the shade Purple Red, which is one of my favorite really dark lip colors. Um, it's absolutely perfect. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you next time. Bye.